Apple CCTV's Famida Miller is standing by for us in Johannesburg. Let's cross now over to her. Famida, President Jacob Zuma sought to answer his critics today, though. What is so significant about the president's address to the media today? Well, if we look at this briefing that the president had with the media here in South Africa, this is in fact the first time, as we saw earlier, that President Zuma has actually spoken directly about the Nkandle issue where $23 million of taxpayers' money was used to upgrade his uh, private residence in Nkandla. Now, Zuma laid himself bare to the media, saying the Nkandla upgrade is not an issue that affects voters and not a major election issue. Now, during this breakfast briefing, the president also touched on gender equality, specifically women in power. CCTV Africa asked President Jacob Zuma if South Africa was ready for a female president. And let's listen to what he had to say. I think the country in general is ready. And I think if there was a candidate today, the AN, if, the, if that candidate came from the ANC, the ANC will enthusiastically vote for the female candidate today. I don't think we have got it to say because this is open. You must then stop everything and start looking for such candidates. The candidates in the ANC are there, and I think they are emerging. The ANC will again give leadership on that matter, perhaps shorter time than you think. Now, listening to what President Zuma said there, it's also important to remember that four of the opposition parties are led by women, but it's men who dominate the ANC's top body, the National Executive Committee. Now, just returning to the election, just ahead of the big day on Wednesday, the casting of special votes began today, and this will continue until the end of the day on Tuesday. The Independent Electoral Commission says 400,000 people have registered to cast their vote during this period for various reasons. And if they're not able to make it to polls on Wednesday and campaigning has, of course, now come to an end as per the electoral conditions that all electioneering end 24 hours before polls open. And that was today with special votes. But, of course, the big day coming on Wednesday. Now, of course, there is growing excitement out in the streets as people gear up to vote ahead of Wednesday's poll. Here's some of what they had to say. I don't listen to political parties' uh, promises uh, because they are all politicians. They make a lot of promises that they cannot fulfill. So the devil you know is better than the angel you have not seen before. So I believe that the ANC have been doing the job and we are here because of ANC. So I am voting ANC because I registered to vote. I expect changes maybe in the education system. It's where I expect more changes after the elections. I want this election to go forward so that people will benefit. People have a good job. People will recommend that we are human beings. I listen to what a party has to say, but um, if it's a party that has been in power for years and I weigh up how much time they've had to make a change versus the change they've actually made, I'm kind of like uh, not so much going to believe you. Well, that's uh, it from here from Johannesburg as we look ahead to elections on Wednesday. Speaking to the Independent Electoral Commission in Johannesburg earlier, they say everything is in place at 22,000 voting stations across the country. But we'll look a little closer to that as the days go on and towards the vote on Wednesday. Let's return to Nairobi. Beatrice.